the longest ladder in the world. Well, not as long as that one in Revelations, Resident Evil Revelations. It's like one of the final chapters where you're like in an elevator shaft. It's like freaking takes like 30 odd seconds to get up the ladder. Oh. Sorry, dudes, I thought I heard a knock. A nuke. Where do I need to go now? Light town. Great Scott. Ugh. I'm a bit under the weather. Everybody else is it. Go strength to strength, pardon me, I do apologise. I really do. Uh. Can I wield the great... Where the hell am I going? So we're going to do a bit of a jiggle down to the old Blight Town. See Quiff Hag. The Great Quillag. Chaos Witch Quillag. I'm glad I'm not dying like every five seconds and doing like reps, like ten reps. Starving, I'll be shriveled up. I'll be a shriveled up prune. A shriveled up prune. Uh. Oh. I'm going to show you guys a trick. If you're like a newcomer or you simply didn't know guy down here, this douche, will kill this poor woman. So what you do is you kick him right, you kick him right off. He falls off, you get souls. You save an exit, or you can just go like into another area if you would like to, but I personally find it this way quicker. And it's longer. I should have thought about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Split my lip again. So then... And when it loads up, there you go. Right here, pick up the item, humanity, and your favour and protection. And she'll be fine forever. Speaking of this, now I'm thinking about it. So people that have played the game before, you know that there's like a secret, like a secret passage or a shortcut to the Lost Isolith, you know, basically the door you come out of to get back to the Demon Ruins. You know which door I'm talking about, the one that's next to the Demon Fire Sage. Basically you can open that if you're in the Covenant, I'm trying to remember the name of the Covenant. But basically, I'm trying to remember the name. I'll remember. 
minute. I'll see it in a minute. But basically, this covenant, you need to give humanity to basically level up in this covenant. If you level up enough, you'll basically get a key to that door. Which, in part of the storyline, you can save Solaire before he turns insane. But, a quick way to basically level up in this covenant is the Firekeeper Soul. The Firekeeper Soul gives you five humanity each time you die. But, with the duplication glitch I showed you, you can basically get all the humanity in one go. It saves you farming around for years on end. I prefer to go this way. Oh God! Jesus! Oh God, what am I doing? What am I doing? What you doing? Jesus Christ, there's a doge! <sighs> Ten reps. from back down there. What the hell? I've never seen a Soler message to where it's been rated that high. Weakness, jumping, yeah, no crap. Why is it, this is a good point now, that, why is it that all the stupid messages that don't make sense get high ratings, right? Believe it or not, Dark Souls 2, for example, I put down a few helpful messages like Illusionary Wall ahead, zero rating. But yet, when I put Giant ahead in front of the last Giant, it gets me a, pfft, loads of ratings. Come on. Show appreciation to the people, right? They go, oh, there's Illusionary Wall here. People will find this helpful, yeah. But people instead go, <laughs> illusionary wall ahead, but, but be wary of liar. And that gets like 500 rating, people are like, yeah. <laughs> Child. Please. It annoys me so much. It's like illusionary wall ahead, you freaking smack the wall or you look at it. Nope, nothing. He just got it for joy, he's like, you can stick it at any wall you want, like illusionary wall. Fog gate, illusionary wall. Jesus, it annoys me so much. Then you get the people, right, that invade your world. And then yell at you. Because of the way you play the game. And it's like, excuse me, it's my world. My world, my rules. My own little world. I don't know how many times I'm going to make references to freaking own little world, but it's going to happen. You've got no choice. I'm sorry. You've got no choice. I'm sorry, my friend. Those guys that freaking chucks shit, you know, that. <laughs> they annoy me so much. Sometimes I used to get shot or podged up the bum by a freaking poison freaking stick, and now I have to run. Bonfire. But there's a technique here I'm going to use. I'm going to use. I'm going to use. 